Welcome to Rhodes, one of the most beautiful islands in Greece. With its crystal clear turquoise waters, golden beaches, and picturesque landscapes, it is a dream destination for travelers seeking a perfect blend of relaxation and exploration. In today's vlog, we will be showing you our favorite things to do and places to eat while in Rhodes. Before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date on all our travel vlogs from around the world. First start your trip in Rhodes Old Town, also known as the Medieval City. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the best preserved medieval cities in Europe. The town is surrounded by medieval walls that date back to the 14th century. No trip to the town is complete without visiting the Palace of the Grand Master and the Street of the Knights. Be sure to get lost in the old streets of Rhodes while checking out the various shops. For lunch, be sure to try to Rhodey. This is a family-run taverna and they serve up some of our favorite traditional Greek food in all of Rhodes Town. Next, visit Lindos, arguably one of the most beautiful towns in all of Greece. Located on the eastern coast, this small village of traditional whitewashed buildings and picturesque winding lanes sits under an ancient acropolis. Overlooking the Aegean Sea, the Acropolis has well-preserved ruins, including the Temple of Athena Lindia, a Doric-style temple dating back to the 4th century BCE. Lindos is also famous for its beautiful beaches. There are two beaches you can visit here. Lindos Beach, which offers crystal clear waters and golden sand. There's also St. Paul's Bay, a picturesque cove with turquoise waters and surrounded by rocky cliffs and a small chapel. To visit Lindo's village and its sites, you must park outside the city. For us, the easiest park was located on the top of the hill next to the main highway. From here, you can walk to the beaches or the village. It is about a 10 minute walk downhill. Once you arrive in town, you are greeted with narrow cobbled streets, whitewashed houses, with brightly colored doors and windows. Take your time browsing the various shops, selling souvenirs, clothing, and local goods. We even found a small shop selling handcrafted shoes, and we picked up a pair for Ava. If you're looking to eat somewhere in the village, you can check out Christoph Modern Mediterranean Cuisine. The restaurant serves up upscale and inventive food with a beautiful view of the Acropolis above. Music 
Next up is Agathe Beach, located on the eastern coast of the island. It's approximately 38 kilometers south of Rhodestown. The waters of Agathe Beach are calm and shallow, making it a safe, family-friendly destination. Rental chairs and special beach beds are available for daily purchase. There's also a small taverna that serves up food and drinks throughout the day. Located near the beach is the lesser known Ferriclose Fortress, the small medieval castle that sits atop a hill and is impartially in ruins, but some of the walls and towers are still intact. To reach the castle, visitors can follow a short trail that leads up the hill from Agathy Beach. The hike is relatively easy and offers a beautiful view along the way. Heading back in the direction towards Rhodes, there is a beautiful beach called Stegna. You can rent beach chairs here and have a relaxing, quiet day at this beach. Close by is also Olive and Oregano, a small shop perched on the cliff that sells local products from Rhodes. The shop is family owned and you are able to sample some of the products they offer. We're just tasting some beautiful olive oil from here in Rhodes and this one is their fruity superior tasting olive oil. Mm. It's very mild, um, it has a low acidity and it's very fruity as he said. And this tastes like a great uh, olive oil that you could put over some nice feta cheese just to give it an extra bang or kick when you're having your feta cheese on a Greek salad. So this olive oil is actually called Odyssey and it's produced here and this is just their normal olive oil. I don't know how to describe it. It's really olive <laughs> I don't know which one I like better. I mean, the other one's superior grape, but I also really like this one. It's kind of like more Ooh, traditional. You can find one of our favorite restaurants in Rhodes close by, Amethysos. Located in the small village of Archangelos, this small restaurant serves up delicious Mediterranean mezes. Next, we head to the new monastery of the Holy Virgin Mary, Sambika. The monastery is dedicated to the Virgin Mary, and it is believed to have been founded in the 11th century. According to local tradition, women struggling with fertility issues would climb to the hill to the monastery and pray to the Virgin Mary for assistance in conceiving a child. If their prayers were answered and they became pregnant, they would return to the monastery to offer thanks by placing a small cradle or baby clothing as an offering. After visiting the monastery, you can head to Bona Ceramics, where you can pick up authentic local pottery. 
beware, the items are all handmade and the prices reflect this. The shop also has daily demonstrations of the pottery making process. If you're looking for a great view of Rhodes, visit the old monastery of the Holy Virgin Mary Sambica. It involves climbing a steep hill with a set of stone steps. The ascent can be quite challenging, but the panoramic views from the top are well worth the effort. The stunning vistas encompass the Aegean Sea, the nearby coastline, and the surrounding countryside. Down below at the foot of the hill is Sambika Beach. It's a great beach to visit to cool down after the walk up to the monastery. The sandy beach stretches for about 800 meters and is known for its crystal clear waters. There's also a large water park and a variety of water sports to take part in at this beach. If you want more than to stay If you're looking to have lunch in the area, try Taverna Maria. They offer simple home-cooked Greek food with a beautiful garden and a play area for kids. Finally, head to Antony Quinn Bay that is located about 15 kilometers south of Rhodes Town. It is named after the famous Hollywood actor Anthony Quinn, who fell in love with the bay while filming the movie The Guns of Navarone. Be sure to arrive early to rent a beach chair because this beach gets very packed early in the day. That's going to do it for our top things to do in Rhodes. We hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you have questions about traveling to Rhodes, be sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications to stay up to date with all our latest travel vlogs.